first LA. LA start just rising. I mean, I'm proud to say I'm from the West Coast. We, we, we're proud of our West Coast roots. You know, we're proud of popping and locking. Los Angeles was a real hotbed for, for new dance and new hot things going on. Locking is the very first professional street dance. Locking was created by Don Camelot Campbell sometime in the late 60s. He was trying to learn how to do the funky chicken. He was like a real wildflower, right? He couldn't do it. And he stumbled onto this style of locking. I didn't meet Don until 69. I snuck away from my all night prayer meeting. Went to this club called Maverick's Flats. And I looked so across the dance floor, this guy doing something that was just awesome. I've never seen anything like this in my life. What is this? Locking is, comes from that's locking. This is Uncle Sam Point. Everything in locking has a name. Knee drops, Uncle Sam Points, locking, wrist rolls, playing with the hat, all of that has a name. Locking was a lifestyle. You wore a certain type of clothes. You walked a certain way. You didn't look in locking. You look or you didn't point in locking. You I start off locking. I was watching rerun. Michael Jackson when he was doing the robot, the Jackson 5. I was watching Jeffrey Daniels popping on Kid on Soul Train, and I started trying it, you know what I'm saying? I just started jumping off cheers, trying to do the dive. Popping, the popping movement was a, a, a combination of locking and the robot. Breaking came from the East, but popping came from South Central, the West. Talking to Pete, who was the first one to start hitting or popping, the actual pop part of it was Fresno, California. Popping is really, really minute. It's like this. Bam. See, that's, that's. Popping is like, 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 this is popping. This is popping, so you know. This is popping. Strutting, strutting is, is continuous movement in the same direction and then it's ticking. And then hitting is this. When I hit, it reminds me of like a gangster perspective from where I come from. So when I'm hitting, I'm hitting like, I'm getting ready to fire on you, you know what I'm saying? My hits come from the hood, you know? It didn't come from me, it came from the hood because I had that, that gangster vibe, you know? Real niggas wanted to see real niggas hit.